Good morning, uh, YouTube modeling community. Mike here, Mike's Miniature Motors. Um, the video I'm making this morning, I'm making uh, largely in part <clears throat> for Keith Raymond of Keith R's unboxing, and uh, forgive me, Keith, for getting forget uh, forgetting the second part. But uh, <clears throat> what you're looking at here is the Fujimi. EM series of kits. Um, this is kind of kind of the pride of of uh, my model collection. Uh, you know. Uh, uh, anyway, a while back, uh, I sent Keith some models. As y'all have might have, if you watch Keith, uh, you know that he has a difficult time getting. AMT kits over there and uh, he's been trying to reciprocate the favor and, and send me some kits well he's asked me what uh, you know what I really like well you know a while back y'all did a holy grail uh, videos you know say what your holy grail kit is mine would be EM 34 uh, let me go down a little bit uh, if you notice it's missing it goes in the the collection uh, from 33 to 35. Uh, I've actually physically held 34 in my hands. Um, it is a 356, not a Countach. Um, it, it's silver on the box, and, and it has a removable hardtop. Uh, the weekend that I held it in my hands, uh, well, it was I was fresh out of college, and it was rent weekend, so I had the money. To buy the to buy the kit, I just had other bills. Excuse me, I'm getting off the floor. I had other bills um, that I had to pay that weekend. So I thought, you know, since EMs typically ran three to four times the price of a domestic kit, and they generally would sit on the shelf. You know, you can go back to the hobby shop month after month after month in the same kits there because people don't want to either, one, spend the money, or, you know, they just don't like the subject matter. And before uh, 34 came out, you know, they had released six different 356s, so, you know, for most people, we're probably tired of uh, releases of the 356. So anyway, uh, that is my Holy Grail, Fujimi EM34. Uh, Keith, you saw the, the whole series there from one to, I forget what it ends in. Uh, the actual EM stopped at 37, but then they've got, they've reboxed them and put different numbers on them. Uh, these are just, uh, what are the real sports car series or whatever up here. Um, just showing you the whole Fujimi collection since I'm here. Uh, Ravello Germany actually had some kits. Uh, these right here these five that uh i don't know if they were fujimi-esque or you know or fujimi kits or tooled by fujimi but never put in fujimi boxes but they have all the extreme high parts count uh, that the ems do this um uh, gambala gambella whatever this porsche is called um everything underneath the body is em all day long it's no different than say this kit the insides of it uh, just that it's got a different body on it so how that worked out i don't know um i did build the revel of germany 850 coupe it been through a couple moves i've still got all the pieces it's just not in the best shape um to me actually i guess let me walk over there excuse the garage guys it's kind of messy because i had to move stuff out of that corner to get to the Fujimis. Uh, but that is the exact same kit as that Cabriolet over there, just with a coupe body. Uh, so somebody shared mold somewhere, just like this uh, 325 is no different than a, uh, a Hasegawa 3 Series. Do I have my Hasegawa 3 Series over here? Uh, anyway, um, yeah, it, it, it's no different. It's the same inside. So anyway, guys, that's about it. Just wanted to share this, uh, like I said, mainly for Keith so he could see 
the EM collection and see that 34 is missing, see what the boxes look like, uh, that there would be a 34 on there uh, versus a third, you know, 33, 35. Anyway, uh, anyway, Keith, um, hope I, you get to see what uh, you were looking for. Uh, everybody else, hope you kind of enjoyed this video. Hit like. If you have any questions, comments about uh, Fujimi kits, I've got a couple of them here. So uh, anyway, guys, that's about it. Thanks. Y'all have a good, uh, what's today, Tuesday? And uh, we'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Um,